Thank you so much for joining me here on Fate Girl Gaming. My name is Abril, and today I'm going to be playing a game that a lot of my favorite YouTubers have played. Uh, the first time I actually found out about this game was when Jay from the Cup Scouts, which I've been subscribed to for a very long time, started. Uh, I watched him. Wasn't I watched him play it? I remember which challenge he did, but. I think I've really always wanted to play this game since then because it seems really fun. So, this is my first real time playing it because I messed around with it for a few minutes, but I didn't actually get really into it. So, let's just get started. I'm going to start a new game and it's going to be classic. Apocalypse. And, um... Just because I'm still not used to the controls of it, because like I said, this is the first real time that I've played it, I'm going to go with Little Boy. And also, in case you don't notice this lag right now, I don't have the best computer, so in for the sake of, you know, not having, not losing time when I'm trying to scavenge or get all the supplies that I need... I'm just going to stop recording and then I'm going to restart recording when I'm inside of the bunker because it might take me a few times <laughs> to get this right. I already know. So, um, yeah. I will be, uh, let's begin and I will be right back as soon as I have everything we need. Alright. Alright, hi. <laughs> I'm back. So... This is actually my first try. This is what I got. And obviously, since I'm on Little Boy, which is the easiest level, I did get quite a few things like the gun and the gas mask and the map because I didn't grab any of those things myself. Um, so basically, all that I have, all that I personally got was the med kit, the padlock, and the all these waters, and did I get soup? I don't think I got soup. I did grab, I did grab, I know for sure, I grabbed the radio. All of the rest of the stuff, I'm not quite sure what I did and didn't get. But, I think that for my first time, you know, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna stick with this. Unfortunately, I don't have a lamp, so we're gonna have to depend a lot on what Ted here, on Teddy, on what Teddy here brings, because, yeah. So, I'm just gonna start right now, and... I'm going to work with only Ted. Yeah. I'm just going to work with Ted today because I, I feel like that's the easiest thing. I mean, he might go crazy from what I've seen in a lot of the playthroughs, but I'm still going to go with it and we're going to see what happens. So let's get started. Day one. Oh, hold up. When fire rains down from the sky, it's every man for himself. When we open the shelter door, we notice some of the shelves are already stocked. We can't really say we recall putting, putting all of these supplies here, but we're definitely going to put them to good use. So we got the gun, the gas mask, and the map. We don't have that much food, no one's complaining yet, but even canned soup might, be, might become an extravagant dish quite soon. Plenty of water means we don't have to worry about that for some time. There wasn't enough time to grab everything, but we have something to get started with. Hope it's enough. Okay, so obviously I didn't get anyone in the family because I was too focused on trying to grab as much stuff as I have and my computer is already as laggy as it can get, so I wasn't able to uh, move very fast, but the timer is not that forgiving. It keeps going. It doesn't matter that my computer is laggy as shite. It, it keeps going. Um, so that's my little explanation right there. So this is day one. Um, I'm gonna try to give him food. Yeah, I'm gonna try to give him food every five days. Yeah, food and water every five days. I'm going to try that and, and hope for the best. A day one, we always thought life could be much better. That was before we got nuked. Now we think life could be much better in a way. Not that much has changed. Alright, so let's move on. Day two, I'm going strictly. Oh god, he's already crazy. 
<laughs> this is not good. I didn't grab anything else. Oh my god, he's he's gonna. Uh, we're gonna lose. I can already tell. He's already gone crazy. J two. This is not good. Not good at all. <laughs> okay, living in the past is not wise in our current situation. We need to think of today and tomorrow. And Ted, unfortunately, my buddy, my buddy, old pal Ted, just went crazy without his family. Because you already know he needs that family. So we're actually going to prepare for an expedition. Because this says, oh, neighborhoods are still highly radioactive. It doesn't matter that we have a gas mask. Trips to the surface are a big risk to our health right now, but Chet is vigorous enough to withstand the hazards of the wasteland. So he can go. Oh, here we go. What? That, what's that sound? A galloping horse? We rushed to the door and were greeted by two men dressed like they'd come from, med from a medieval fair. <laughs> we identified the source of the sound. One of them was holding two rocks and hitting them against each other constantly while the other was skipping and pretending to be a rider. They said they were looking for some antique cup, but they got lost and they would be most grateful if we would let them check our map, provided we have one. Alright, so, real, real story here, real story, alright, story time here, a little side thing, uh, the first, the first and only time I watched, um, uh, Monty Python was during the 10th grade, and I think it was almost end of the school year, and my English teacher, he let us watch that movie, and I remember our our class is like the quietest class. I guess it was because it was in the morning and we were all just like really tired and didn't feel like doing anything. Uh, but yeah. Yeah. That was the first time I watched Monty Python and it was really funny. And if you haven't watched it, you should watch it because it's what this little situation is based on. And I need to watch it again because I really, I really like that movie. Okay, let's hope Tad doesn't leave because I feel like he's going to leave. Well, let's hope not. Let's hope Mr. Sock Puppet here doesn't steal him away. Don't steal Ten away from me. Please, it's the only thing I got. Alright, day three. They seemed friendly enough, so we let them have a look at our map. They thanked us and offered us some supplies. In exchange, we graciously accepted and wished them luck on their quest. So, plus one, and we have the axe. Where is water when Ted needs it? <laughs> I can't give you water yet, sorry. Alright, the only thing we're taking. Can we take anything? Oh, I haven't selected anyone. Okay, day three, we're feeling pretty optimistic about today's expedition. The only thing left to do is choose the right person to go outside. Um, I just passed the gas mask. There you go. It's all we're gonna send. Please come back, Ted. This is day eight. Oh, I mean, he did come back, but he's really tired. Even Mr. Sock Puppet is tired. Ooh, we got more food. Dang it. Ted has safely returned from his voyage to the surface. When we came back to the shelter, we were relieved to discover that it was still locked. The padlock carries signs of an attempted break-in, but whoever gave it, gave it a try did not succeed in getting inside. Sadly, the padlock is in a sorry state and we can't really use it anymore. A pile of car racks revealed that we, that we stumbled across a big parking lot. Almost no car survived the blast wave, but we went between the racks to explore anyway. It seems like the bomb interrupted someone's picnic. Thankfully, they were big fans of tomato soup, and the indestructible cans were scattered all around the lot. So we got two cans of soup. There was a really nice motorbike standing a bit to the side next to the car racks, or rather, it used to be nice. There's not much left of it now. Upon inspecting the bags attached to the bike, we found a working flashlight. We might be able to get pancake if everything goes as planned. Damn it, our gas mask was damaged during the expedition. <laughs> oh my god, how are we gonna go back outside? Uh, Ted's stomach is rumbling, Ted is really tired, and our equipment is gone. <laughs> so we're actually gonna go ahead and give him some 
water and soup because the my first test try just to see if this game would record well it didn't go well <laughs> uh, to say the least uh, basically what happened was everyone died I got Timmy and Dolores yeah I got Timmy and Dolores the first time when I was test trying it just just to check recording and stuff like I already said and they all ended up Timmy ended up leaving yeah, Timmy ended up leaving and Ted and Dolores died because I didn't feed them or give them water. Even though I thought they were okay. I gave it to them. I gave them water on day 5 and I fed them on day 10. But for some reason they just died the next day. I was so mad. I was like, what? Okay. Anyways, let's continue. Our neighborhood is still highly radioactive. Trips to the surface are a big risk to our health right now. So we can't actually send anyone. And uh, looks like we're going to end up being sick. The problem is simple. If we don't wash ourselves, we'll get sick. Seriously sick. It smells really bad down here and doesn't seem like it'll get any better over the next couple of days. How about we do something to fix it? Unfortunately, I can't do anything to fix it. So we're going to keep going and hope for the best. I mean, Ted is already crazy. What could, what could a little cold do to him, you know? This is terrible. Even the sock puppet is sick. Look at this freaking sock puppet. How are you sick? Gosh. Okay, the world has ended. Who cares about showering? We can get used to it. Adapting shouldn't be hard. It will be like a camping trip. It will. Oh, no. That smells terrible. Don't puke. Don't. Suspicious. Looking stains cover parts of the page. Ted is hungry and Ted became infected with something. Oh, please don't die. We're day 10. We're trying to survive. I already fed him. So, yeah. I don't think he can go out. And I don't want to go out because our gas mask, mask doesn't hurt. Okay, day 9. It's been a while. We don't know much about what's happening on the surface. If we only had a chance to tune into some emergency radio broadcast and learn a thing or two. So hopefully they'll tell us that the fallout outside is gone. Because then we can start scavenging again. Even though I don't know how safe it is to send Ted out there because he's crazy. Boy, is crazy. It's crazy, alright? So it's not wise to send him outside. But... I mean, if he stays in here, he's probably just going to end up, you know, you know, just leaving, so. Alright, day 10, we were able to get a weak signal and tap into government's emergency announcement service. And guess what? Great news, the fallout outside has mostly gone. It should be much safer to travel on the surface. And that's amazing because our gas mask is gone it's gone <laughs> okay ted's stomach is rumbling ted we fed you two days ago stop being so greedy okay i know we have food but we're trying to conserve this and if, if in case we can't scavenge ever again so i'm still i'm hoping that we'll be able to get pancake because i think pancake might help ted become less crazy Okay, uh, we keep dreaming about those little things we did back in the days when there weren't as many bombs falling down. Not on our heads, anyways. And there's Mary Jane. <sighs> our daughter. Heart. I miss you, Mary Jane. If you were here, we wouldn't be crazy. Alright. Please don't die. Okay. He's still coughing, but he didn't die. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> okay. Day 11, living in the past is not wise in our current situation. We need to think of today and tomorrow. Ted is hungry, and if Ted doesn't drink anything, he won't last long. Alright, so I said I would give, I would feed him every five days in day 8, so 9, 10, 11. So it's only been three days. So I think, hopefully, he won't die because I don't feed him right yet. Yeah. Hopefully he won't die yet. Uh, we thought phone calls were a thing of the past after the atomic bombs obliterated everything in our little town. However, a phone booth on our street survived the bombing. Somehow, it's ringing right now. We should send someone to answer it. No. Okay, we don't answer phones. Alright, nobody wants to go. 
Well, the only person that can go doesn't want to go. Ted doesn't care. All right, Ted doesn't want to answer the phone. All right? Don't die. Oh, gosh. I'm, I'm so scared that he's going to die any second, any day now. Day 12, it's just way too dangerous just to just randomly run to a ringing phone in the middle of a radioactive ghost town. We're not taking any chances. It took a while before it stopped ringing. It was pretty annoying for us all. Uh, Ted's stomach is rumbling. Ted looks like he's got one foot in the grave and needs to get a drink right now. Okay. Okay, Ted, fine. Fine. I'll give you. I'll give you soup and water. Fine. Cause me such a crybaby. Alright, I'll give it to you. Okay, what's that? Did the radio static just stop for a moment? Let's try tuning in on that signal. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Hopefully they say something good so that we can get rescued really soon because Ted won't survive much longer. Look at that's not. Look at this not. Okay? Sock puppet is like, I'm gonna die. Okay? Day 13, nothing, nothing, and nothing. We can hear nothing but the annoying static. Better luck next time. Crap! <laughs> Military, where are you? Okay, we just fed you, Ted. Stop acting. Stop complaining. We just fed you. Uh, mutated rodents are attacking our supplies. We're not sure if they're rats, burrow bunnies, or just mutated hamsters. All of these options are pretty grim. We could use a spare ammunition or some or something else to get rid of every one of these pests. Alright. So, Jay from the Cub Scouts. He is, like, the person that I've watched the most playing this game. I mean, a lot of other people have played it, but he's, like, the person that I've consistently watched and I think if I'm right he said that the axe almost always works and it won't break I think I think let's try it <laughs> I don't remember for sure but hopefully this doesn't break okay I can't afford for it to break even though like it, it we need it for protection and it didn't break which is good let's see if we got something our cans are saved. Too bad for the hairy mutant. Guess we're still top of the food chain. Good for us. Every day Ted is becoming more and more absent-minded. Since early this morning, he has been completely committed to reading a newspaper. Or rather, something that he seemed to think was a newspaper. Our toilet tissue. <laughs> he seemed very interested in it, so we didn't want to drag him away from his reading. Uh, he had to answer a call of nature, but then he accidentally reached for our map. Ted! No! Oh my god, Ted! Oh my gosh, this is why having Ted by himself is not good. Okay, so suffice to say, or suffice to say, I think it's suffice. I I'm not sure. It's unusable now, absolutely unusable. However, Ted didn't seem to be very bothered by it, and when we tried to make him realize what he'd done and take back the toilet paper, he just muttered that he might lend it to us when he's finished. Ted? Ted tries to hide it, but it's obvious he has a lot of issues. He often has lengthy conversations with his sock puppet. Ted? I can't believe you right now, like... No comment, we're just gonna keep going. We're gonna try to prepare, even though I'm pretty sure Ted Ted can't go. He's too weak, he can't go. But we're gonna try. If there's anyone who can rescue us from this hellish situation, it's our government. You can badmouth them all you want, but that probably means you're either a naysayer or a commie. We're good citizens. We've been paying our taxes regularly, so we're sure Uncle Sam is coming to get us. We'll accept that one time when we... Never mind. The government people are coming, and we should keep our ears and eyes open from any sign for any sign from them. Let's do it. Let's do it. Go, 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 go. Let's do it. Let's do it. Come on. Come on, Ted. Come on. Oh, I think we got a signal. Day 15, we knew it. The government has not fallen and they're coming to save us. They didn't exactly give a, give exact dates in their radio transmission, but we're sure they won't keep us waiting long. I, uh, I hope they don't keep us waiting long. Day 15, Ted is crazy. We are not surviving for long, okay? 
They said they would be in touch in a couple of days and told us to await further instructions. Ted needs water to survive. I'm pretty sure I fed him on day 13, maybe, I hope. I'm not, I'm not quite sure. Um, we're, we'll feed him on day 18 because uh, since he left, I'm pretty sure it skipped a few days when I sent him out to scavenge. So now I'm not sure what days are on, so I'll feed him and give him water on day 18. And we'll try to keep going from there, uh, but yeah, I hope we can keep that. So none of us can actually go outside because these two are dead. They are gone. They are somewhere somewhere but they're not here all right so let's go please don't die please don't be the end okay day 16 another day another dollar just kidding nothing it's just a, just a bag of nothing it's not a dollar okay it's it's nothing all right ted is hungry ted looks like he's got one foot in the grave he needs to get a drink right now god damn it i said i was gonna give you stuff on day 13 I don't want you to die though. Maybe I'm just getting scared for any for nothing. Okay, from this day on, day 20. We're gonna try to get back on track. So day 20 was the next time we're gonna feed him. Day 20. So nobody go outside. Basically, we're just surviving. We decided to peek outside for just a minute to see if the store around the corner was still standing. When we were about to step out, we heard a growl in the darkness and a pair of ferocious eyes appeared a few feet away. We only had moments to decide what we wanted to do. And I think it's pancake. Let's hope it's pancake. Because I think if we have pancake in the bunker, Ted might be able to survive. I think he might get a little less crazy at me, hopefully, because that sock puppet is eyeing that door and we don't want him to leave, so let's do it. Come on, Pancake. Be Pancake. Yay, I heard a bark. Oh, God. Ted is still sick, and I don't want to give him this because Pancake might need it. I don't want to give him this because I don't want to give him this because Pancake might need it. Pancake might need it. I don't have uh, anything else. You know, the, the bug spray, I think, is the one that's able to make the med kit. So if I give Ted the med kit now, I won't be able to get another one. Well, I might because them... Well, I might because if Ted gets healthy again... Oh, but... No, he's so crazy. It was, my mouse is covering a sock puppet. But like I was saying, why do I always feel sick when I record? It's like I'm fine all day until I decide that I want to record something and then it's like... Oh, you're gonna feel sick. Anyways, like I was saying, if I, pros and cons, if I give him the med kit now, he might be healed and might be able to scavenge. Uh, but uh, I want to save it until we get pancake, though. Yeah, hey, that's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna save it and hope for the best. Uh, day 17, we decided to check what's coming for us with our flashlight. Guess what? It was a dog. The poor thing seemed tired, so we let it stay with us for the night. Next morning, we opened the door to let it out. It still hasn't returned. Hopefully, it will come back later. Ted keeps coughing and coughing. Way to play on my conscience game. Ugh. I said day 20. We're not feeding you until day 20. I think he's gonna die from sickness, you guys. I think he's gonna die from sickness, and I really hope he doesn't. Uh, day 17, we really miss the life we had. The space, the sky, the food, more food. We wish we could go back to a time before this damn bomb dropped. <laughs> we used to have cake all the time. And just to be able to go around the corner and be like, I want a piece of cake. And we can't have that anymore, Ted. You gotta get over it. You can build a pyramid with your soup cans or something. You can use your axe as a little, like, knife, you know, to cut it. Alright. Day 18. Found memories are one thing, but we need to be ready for the harsh reality that awaits us, and Ted is fine. First, good news. Ted is fine. Alright, so, like I said, day 20. I'm keeping an eye on that. Oh god, excuse me, sorry. Okay, nobody can... Okay, time to listen to some radio chatter. 
Maybe we will pick up some useful shred of information on how to get out of this mess. Yes, you may. Please don't die. Oh, he's still there. Oh, Sock Puppet is better. They're both better. Well, not Ted isn't better. Nothing, nothing, and nothing. We can hear nothing but the annoying static. Better luck next time. That sucks. Okay. Okay, we could send Ted out to, sca Ted out to scavenge, but I don't want to do that because I'm scared. It's not the best time or place to make plans for the future, but we can't help thinking about what we can make. What? You know, sometimes I can read very well. And most of the time, it's not what I'm recording. Alright. I know this is killing me, too. Okay. <gasps> Take a deep breath and try that again. Girl, try it again. Okay. It's not the best time or place to make plans for the future. But we can't help thinking about what we can make. What can we make of this terrible situation? Is our house still standing, or will we have to move to some forsaken hole like Toronto? <laughs> I've always wanted to go to Canada. I really have. Please don't be the end. Okay. Okay. We're good. And we got an achievement. Stay right here. Survivalist. Alright, let's go. Day 20, you can finally have some soup. Day 20, our relocation is probably something we'll be able to discuss after we get out of here. Ted looks like he's got one foot in the grave. He needs to get a drink right now. Yes, today is day 20, my friend. You do get a drink. So you can have this, you can have this, and you can have this, and some of that, and some of this. All right, no, you're not scavenging. We are never huge fans of mushrooms. But with a colony of them growing on one of the walls, we've changed our loyalties. They're all about mushrooms now. Should we eat them? No. 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 No, you're not eating the mushrooms. You're already sick. I feel like if he touches those mushrooms, he's gonna die. I'm not sure if that will happen, but I that's what I that's what that's what my heart is telling me. That's what my heart is telling me, and I'm gonna I'm gonna trust my heart, okay? Let's keep going. No Ted. Bad Ted. No mushrooms for you. Day 21. Please, let's get pancakes soon so he'll stop being crazy. Okay, we may we may be hungry, but there are just some things we will never eat. Wall fungus is one of them. Thank you for finally understanding me, dear sir. Ted hasn't recovered from his illness yet. Well, no shite. Time to ration supplies. No. You have to, you have to wait till day 25. Ring, ring, there we were, thinking we could never, we would never hear a telephone signal again, when suddenly a phone started ringing from somewhere on the outside. We figured it's the phone booth across the street. Should someone answer it? Should someone answer it, son? Should someone answer it? Yes, Ted, go answer it, and try not to sound too crazy while you do. Try not to scare them. Like, don't let the sock puppet talk. You can talk by yourself. Day 22. Oh gosh, you look terrible. You look even more terrible than before. What happened to you? When we answered the phone, we could clearly hear a gasp of relief from the caller. They introduced themselves as a survivor from a nearby town of Hill Valley. We had started exchanging information and the call was cut short. Well, crap, you know, you know, sometimes during the apocalypse, don't you just hate it when you have no cell reception, okay? Um, something must have gone wrong on their side. Of course it's their side. Okay, we have perfect reception, okay? We hope they will get back to us. <laughs> Ted has safely returned from his voyage to the surface. Ted is pretty fatigued. Ted, you literally just walked out of the shelter and, like, went to a phone. Literally, it was right there. Why are you fatigued? You know, some things I will never understand. You get nothing. You're not scavenging until we get pancake. Okay, we're about to take a cautious peek. Pancake, 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 
Pancake, pancake, yes, 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 yes. We're about to take a cautious peek outside when a furry beast jumped on us. Good thing our hearts were not battered by a fat, heavy hamburger diet because it was our dog friend and not a mutant lurking to chew our bones. Meyer lurks. Good boy, he seems to be hungry. Shall we give him something to eat? Of course. Pancake can have anything he wants and more. He's all that in a bag of chips, don't you know? Let's go. Come on, come on. I'm getting really, I'm getting really excited. Oh. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I just said I was excited. Ted, how dare you? Oh my god, how dare you die on me, Ted? Ted! Ted! <laughs> Ted! Fuck, sorry. Ted, how dare you? How dare you betray me like this? I just said I was excited. <sighs> okay. So this is the end. Ted betrayed us. You know, this is worse than if, if he would have left. He just died. Look at him. Look at look at look at this look at his fuckboy smile right now. Look at him, he's probably he's probably up up wherever he went, just just smirking at me right now. You know what? Forget you, Ted. We're never coming alone with you again. Forget you, Ted. Forget you. You suck. You are worthless. Just kidding. Just kidding. Okay? Nobody's worthless. Okay. Let's see what happened. The dog was back to his former self in under an hour. We don't know what they put in that soup, but man, this stuff's good. We decided the dog needed a name, and right there, right there. It was Pancake. Come here, Pancake. It's a good boy, Pancake. Pancake stayed around for a while, but was gone the next morning. We can bet he will be back. Ted has been sick for far too long, and he was too weak to keep going. I don't want to give him this, because Pancake might need it. He passed away in his sleep. Uh, well, at least he passed away peacefully, unlike us. Of all places, we could have perished. This is probably the best one. Or maybe not. We survived for 23 days on the easiest level. Come on now. Come on now. Alright, so apparently my mistake was not giving Ted the freaking med kit. I should have just- Alright, so my recording cut off. But what I was saying, we should have just given Ted the freaking med kit. That's all he had to do. That's all he had to do. I even debated it. He, we could have kept going. Okay. No use in crying over spilled milk. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you like this video. Um, if you didn't, give it a dislike. You know, that's how likes and dislikes work. Alright, um... <laughs> we're gonna try harder next time. Uh, thank you so much. I'll see you later. Bye.